Hi guys. I um, want to go over some things with you that will help you out in this week's assignment. Um, Y'all haven't been with me in a while, so you may have forgotten some things or you remember, but you just need a little refresher. So I'm going to go through some rhythm things with you. Your assignment this week is to write, to compose four measures of um, rhythm and read them. So let's go through it. The first thing that you need to write is 4-4 four, four time. And that just looks like this. You don't put a line. It's not a fraction. Okay. It's called a time signature. The time signature always comes at the beginning of the music. And the time signature tells the musician how many beats go in a measure. You'll see what that means in a minute. We are not even going to talk about the bottom number. Okay, we don't need to know that yet, and it complicates things. So just remember, whatever the top number is, is how many beats going to measure. And you are using 4-4 four, four time this week. You don't have a choice this week. Um, so let's review some things. And guys, I'm drawing with my mouse or my touchpad here, so it's going to be a little wonky. <laughs> but that's okay. Ooh, that's really wonky. You'll know what I mean. So think that is Takatika. I hope you knew that. Here we have Tati. Takatika is one beat. Tati is one beat. We're going for four beats in this measure. That just means a group of beats. Ta is one beat. Tati is one beat. Now we have one, two, three, four beats. This top number of the time signature is four. So that means we're finished with this measure. Measure just means a group of beats. To show the end of a measure, you use a bar line. I hope that you're remembering this as you see it. If you're not, just keep paying attention and you'll get it. And if you need to back the video up and watch again, you can do that too. Now when we read this, we first need a steady beat. I'm looking for something to tap a beat with. Here's a pen. So I'm going to tap a beat and I'm going to read the rhythm. You can read with me this time or you can wait till next time. Ta ka ti ka ta ti ta ta ti. Now try it with me this time for sure. One, two, ready, go. Ta ka ti ka ta ti ta ta ti. Good. If you need to back the video up and practice that a little bit more, you can. Um, I think most of you will have that by now. So we're going to go on. Your assignment says four beats of rhythm. I mean, goodness gracious, four measures of rhythm. There's one measure. Now, if I have room to put the whole next measure here, I can keep going on this line. If you're not sure that the whole measure is going to fit on this line, go to the next line. You're not allowed to break a measure up over two lines, okay? This is might be enough, but I'm not positive, so I'm going to go down to the next line. You do not have to rewrite the time signature. The time signature only goes at the beginning. So I'm going to make up my next measure. I'm going to use ta T. I'm looking here at my list to see what your grade is using. Um, ta Tika. Ooh, messy, messy. That's what happens when you write with a mouse. Ta Tika. Do you remember Ta Tika? Remember you had Ta T and you're dividing the second half of the beat in half. So it becomes Tika. Ta T, Ta Tika. And let's put. Next, and then ta. When you are composing, you can pick whatever you think sounds good next, okay? And you can stop after every beat and read what you've got so far to see if you like the way it's building. Um, there's no right or wrong answer about what comes next, okay? The only way you can be wrong in this is if you don't put your bar lines in the right place. Um, you don't have enough beats. But it doesn't matter what each beat is. I have one, two, three, 
four beats. My time signature says four beats in a measure. So another bar line. I'm going to read just the second measure. I'll read it for you first, and then you can read it with me. Pa ti pa ti ka sh ta. You ready to try it? One, two, ready, go. Ta ti pa ti ka sh ta. Let's do that one more time. Make sure you got the ta ti ka. One, two, ready, go. Ta ti pa ti ka sh ta. Okay. And like I said, if you need to back the video up again, watch that some more, you can. Um, let's do both measures together to see how we're coming along. One, two, ready, go. Tucka tika ta ti ta ta ti tucka ti ta tika sh da. I kind of jumbled that up a little bit, but I got it out. Hmm. <laughs> Remember what I always tell you. Everyone makes mistakes and mistakes are okay. As long as you're trying. Let's do that one more time. Make sure you got it. One, two, ready, go. ta ka ti ka ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ti ka sh ta Now we have a one measure, two measures. We know it's the end of a measure when we get to a bar line. We need four measures. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do this one up here because that looks like plenty of room for another measure. There's another Tati. And then there's one more that I want you to use this week that we haven't done yet. So I'll put it here. Ooh, messy, messy. Shti. Remember when we have shti, we're taking the first half of the Tati away. Taking that note and turning it into a rest. So instead of Tati, we have shti. Then we, uh, what do I want next? Ta, ti, sh, ti. I think I want a ta and another ta. Ta, ti, sh, ti, da, da. I like that. Do that measure with me. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ti, sh, ti, ta, ta. Yeah. That is one, two, three, four beats. So I need bar line. Now I have three measures. One, two, three. I need one more measure. Remember, it doesn't matter what comes next. It's just whatever I think sounds good next. When you are composing yours, it will be whatever you think sounds good next. When you compose yours, you are not copying mine. Okay? Do your own. Have fun with it. Be creative with it. See what you can come up with. Always remember, I've been telling you since kindergarten, Mistakes are okay as long as you're trying. Everyone makes mistakes. They're okay. That's how you learn. I want you and yours to make sure that you use each one of these choices at least once. You can use them multiple times, but at least once. Now this is one, two, three, four beats into the measure. But this time we're not going to put just a bar line. We're going to put this is called a double bar line, and it means the end. So since I'm all the way finished now, double bar line. Let's read just that measure. One, two, ready, go. ta ka ti ka ta ti ka ta ti ta Okay? Now let's go back and read all four measures together. I'm kind of giggling because there are kids in the hallway being very loud right now. I don't know if you can hear them or not. All right. So let's do four measures together. Remember, anytime you need to see something again, back up the video. Okay? One, two, ready, go. ta ka ti ka ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ti ka ta ta ti ti ta 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 ka ti ka ta ti ka ta ti ta how did you do? I hope you did well. If you made mistakes, always remember mistakes are okay. As long as you're trying, don't get stressed out about them. Okay. Now, after you um, write your rhythm, you are going to practice saying it like we just did together. Now, I've been just tapping a beat with my pen on my desk 
Um, I can keep a steady beat and do other things because I've been doing this for a long, long time. Um, you might have a hard time keeping a steady beat for yourself. If there's someone else at home who can keep a steady beat for you, you could do it that way. Or I'm going to show you something. Let me put on my reading glasses. Did y'all notice I got contacts? I got tired of my face mask fogging up my glasses, so I got contacts, but I still need reading glasses. Anyway, if you need a steady beat and there's no one to keep a steady beat for you, there is a link on the Google Doc where you're reading your assignment to a metronome. Metronome is, we've used them before, a tool to help a musician keep a steady beat so they don't accidentally slow down or speed up. Um, you don't have to go buy a metronome. You can open a new tab in your Google search, type in metronome. M-E-T-R-O-N-O-M-E. -E. Don't choose any of these choices. Just leave it metronome. Click enter. And here we have an online metronome. You don't have to go to any website. It's just right here. You slide the blue dot back and forth for slower or faster tempos. Um, we usually are reading things around 70, 75. The BPM means beats per minute. Um, I would suggest you start out around 75. When you click play, it will give you a steady beat. I'm going to click it just so you can see, but it sounds weird on these recordings. That's why I'm not using it. On these recordings, it kind of makes a double click. It doesn't really do that in real life, but you just click play. And then you can pause it. When you're reading your rhythms, you can have this playing and go back to other tabs and it still plays in the background if you're writing on your screen. If you're using paper pencil, that's not a problem. Um, let me turn that off. So there is a link to that metronome, or you can just go in the Google search and type in metronome. Um, what else do I need to tell you? You do not have to turn this in this week. Okay. Um, this is just for you to practice. Most of your music assignments, you won't have anything to turn in. Every once in a while you will. Sometimes I'll have you do a Flipgrid video. Um, I might show you Screencastify. That's what I'm using. That's how you're seeing my computer screen and me down in the corner. It's called Screencastify. Um, sometimes you'll submit pictures to me or an actual written assignment, but not very often. Usually your assignments are on the honor system. Google Classroom will show me when you have um, done an assignment even if it's not something you have to turn into me. Um, and remember, um, music is not something to get stressed out about. It's something to have fun with, to be creative with, and to learn. Make sure you're really learning and really trying your hardest, but don't stress out about it ever, ever, ever. Okay? Um, I think that covers everything. Just remember... I love you, I miss you, and always enjoy your music. So I will put more up for you next week. Bye, guys.